Welcome to Secretary's Nail Art. This is the secretary showing you Bundle Monster Shangri-La Monster Set. So I'll be showing you all 10 today. First up, we have BMS101. This blade is also called Swirled Utopia. Often when I get these plates, I'm like, wow, there's so much going on. And you can see there's great medallions, flowers, sun, stars. And I often don't know what to do with them. Where do you start? So I have these really nice templates that are cut to the shape of my nails. So I can just whip them around, look through the hole, and get some ideas. Like here. To me, this looks like a head decoration from an Indian princess. It's like a flower with some feathers coming off. Or you could just roll around like this and have two of the medallions come in. And there's just so many things you can do here. Like that totally looks awesome. I wouldn't wear that. This to me looks like grapes coming off with a cool background. And yeah. So what if you have shorter nails? So I made a template for when I have shorter nails as well and I'm just gonna show you some ideas on how to work it out with that one too. This section here looks like a shell. Look how cool would that be with a sea manicure with a shell in it. Pretty awesome. BMS102 is quite a different plate from the previous one, where you hear have more of a tribal feel or an Aztec pattern going in the background, as well as a henna flower in the middle and two half circles of section dots with a garland. If you have longer or wider nail beds, you probably won't be able to isolate the tribal part here. Uh, I will show you this in a little bit with my templates. I can fit them perfectly well on my small nails when I have nubbins, but my longer nails will not be able to have a complete full image with this. I'm giving you some ideas with my template here on how to use this plate. As you can see, it is just not a good fit for the tribal section, but you can do some really cool things like this, for example, where you're incorporating a little bit of the henna flower as well as the tribal. For those of you who sport nubbins, like myself often do, there are a lot of cool things you can do with this plate. For example, here you can get uh, the whole tribal section actually fits on my nubbin. As you can see here, which would be totally awesome and I am going to do it as soon as I chop my nails a bit shorter again. Over to BMS 103, which is also called Hydras. I'm not sure where Bumble Monster gets this name from. If anyone you know, please put it in the comment section. But there are so many cool ways to use this plate and I just loved it instantly when I saw it. All the swirls and the medallions and these great looking paisley. Just so much to do and you can get some really cool stained glass window effects with it. I love it. What can I say? Absolutely just stunning. And this just says time itself, it just spoke really, it just looks so great. So BMS 103. Over to BMS 104, which is very different. It's also called Cosmic Flowers, but for me it is baking germs. This blob here looks like something you can see under a microscope in a medic lab. And I absolutely adore it for it. After the template, and let's see what we can do with this plate. We can get some really cool flowers, like here, and this really funky swirl with some leaves sticking out here. Or it's like a weird looking Santa Claus. <laughs> or this blueberry, which I'm talking about. It totally looks like germs, doesn't it? 
And the etching hair is absolutely magnificent. The lines are so thin, but yet they come off very crisp, and just so much going on. You just move the template just a millimeter, and you get a completely different image, and yet so gorgeous. Wherever I look, you just see great manicures. Plate out is BMS 106, also called Wrapped in Secrets. There are a lot of cool things on this plate, such as books, wheels, and some small flowers, and a lot of crispy, nice lines that create intricate designs, as well as vines and so much cool things. <laughs> As you can see, if you have small nails, these circles will fit perfectly into small nails. There are a lot of cool things you can do for those of you who have longer nails as well, as you can see here. Is anyone else thinking stained glass windows when they see this place? Or is it just me? BMS 107 is also called White Lotus. In the bottom corner to the right, there's a beautiful henna flower like thing as well as so many nice intricate swirls and flowers and petals throughout this plate. It's so gorgeous. In Pisces Paisley, there is a rose. Like, how geniusly cool is that? It's just, who thinks about this? It's just, wow, mind blown. For those with longer nails, there are so many cool things you can do with it. You can combine some of the pieces in the corner here, like this, or you can add some of the vines in with the different types of flowers, with spreading in the middle, just a lot of ideas. And then we have BMS 108, which is also called Fountain of the My first thought here is that these things look like the body of a violin. Does anyone agree with me? Do you see it? Do you see it? Just let me know in the comments. I can't figure it You can get some really cool manicures with this place. You can get these sections with the violin. Those of you who sport snubbins, don't be afraid. There, you can fit the entire flowers and so group up some of the swirls on this plate as well. As you can see, they fit perfectly well into the template of my small nails and my nails and nubbins. Because let's be honest, sometimes you just gotta go short. Over to BMS 109, which is also called Geometric Harmony. When I first saw this plate, I was a little bit worried because these do not look like they're wide enough big enough to be isolated to one full million inch. 
much. But you can see here, this the first outer line you can fit well in. For the rest of the plate, just mix and match as you see fit. I will give you some ideas on how to use these plates. Bam! You have a backgammon mannequin, just right there. At first this plate did scare me a little bit on how to use it, but after looking at the template, I have a lot of ideas on how to use this for a mannequin, which I'm so glad my friend told me about this trick. BM as one one zero, also called the vibrational breath. It has a lot of sections with flowers and some more ethnic looking prints, which is quite in the summer from what I've noticed on the catwalk. And there's some cool, pretty cool ways how to use this place, as you can see. Interesting new ways to, for me at least. Uh, as well as the geometric one, it was frightening me a little bit at first, but after looking around, this is a pretty solid plate that I can see myself getting use of. I bet you're all wondering, how does it stamp? So I grabbed my camera and I tilted it around. As you can see, this is my placemat that I got from IKEA to protect uh, my desk. And I'm using China Glaze Midnight Kit for this manicure that I had in mind. There will be a separate review of the stamping set that I bought from Bundle Monster. As you can see here, I'm using it. Uh, it works absolutely great. It stamps beautifully. For this manicure in particular that I had in mind, I wanted to isolate the henna flower from the Everlasting Sun plate. As you can see, I'm just grabbing some tape, lifting up the section I don't want. Tilt the finger around, press it down on the stamp. I used it really because my nails are super curvy and you know, gorgeous. As I promised, stills, yeah, gorgeous manicure, and as well here, you can find them on my blog. There will be a link down below. This is the secretary signing up for today, and thank you all for 